everyone, Miss Julia here from Village Regional Library and welcome to Storytime Anytime. All of our programs with Wake County Public Libraries are planned using a program called Every Child Ready to Read. We read, we write, we talk, we sing, and we play during all of our story times and we encourage you to do so at home, here at the library, in a car, at the grocery store, wherever you can, getting your child ready for school and ready to read. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna do our welcome song. So we are gonna clap our hands. We're gonna stretch our arms. We're gonna stomp our feet. And then I'm gonna have you guys take a seat. You guys ready? Here we go. Let's clap our hands for story time, for story time, for story time. Let's clap our hands for story time. So glad we're here today. Let's stomp our feet for story time, for story time, for story time. Let's stomp our feet for story time. So glad we're here today. Let's stretch our arms for story time, for story time, for story time. Let's stretch our arms for story time. So glad we're here today. Let's take a seat for story time, for story time for story time. Let's take a seat for story time. So glad we're here today. Give yourselves a big applause. Great job, guys. All right, you ready to see what's in my backpack? Will it be something to make you smile? Something to make you laugh? Let's look and see what it will be in our friend Hudson Hedgehog. Oh, it looks so delicious and it's great, both warm and cold. What is it? A slice of pizza? Hmm, I think we need another clue about what our letter for the day might be. Let's see what else is in my bag. Oh, it's fluttering around. Let's see if I can grab it. What is it? A parrot? Hmm, we have a slice of pizza and a parrot. I think I know what our letter is, but let's try one more thing to see if you guys know too. Oh my goodness, it's another. Bird! Did you guess that? It likes to flutter around on the ground though because it doesn't fly. <gasps> what is it? A penguin! Hmm, we have a piece of pizza, a parrot, and a penguin. Do you know what letter they all start with? It's the letter P! That's exactly right. Here we go, our big P. And our little P, and I think you guys are ready to try drawing it too. Here we go. Let's get our magic fingers out and we'll draw it together. It's just two easy lines. Here we go. One, two. Great job, let's do it one more time. Here we go. One, two. Great job. You can practice writing your big old letter P at home too. All right, but I think we need to know what our theme is for the day. Hmm, something else that starts with P that you guys might have at home. Let's see if you can figure out what it is while I spell it on the board. Here we go. P, E, T, S, Pets, that's exactly right. Everyone loves a fuzzy animal that you can cuddle with at home, right? All right, we're gonna be busy spelling bees and we're going to clap our word. We're gonna stomp our word. We're gonna whisper our word and we're gonna show our word. You guys ready? Here we go. P, E, T, S, pets. Great job, let's stomp it. P, E, T, S, pets, great job. All right, we're gonna whisper really quietly. You guys ready? P, E, T, S, pets. And one last time, really loud. You guys ready? P, E, T, S, pets, great job. Give yourselves a big hand. All right. You guys ready? Let's clap your hands if you're ready for a book. Clap your hands if you're ready for a book. If you're ready for a book, let's sit down and take a look. Clap your hands if you're ready for a book. All right, great job. Our very first book today is called If I Had a Raptor, and it's by Mr. George O'Connor. If I had a 
raptor, I'd want to get her as a baby when she's all teensy tiny and funny and fluffy. A baby raptor is so teensy and tiny, she wouldn't be easy to lose. I'd give her a little bell so I could always find her. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. There you are. Baby raptors are the cutest. If I had a raptor, she would like to sit on my lap and I would let her. Even when she grows up, she would still like to sit on my lap. A raptor likes nothing better than a nice warm spot. My raptor would bask on a sunny windowsill or snuggle in the clean laundry. She would even settle on my homework or in any cozy little space, really. My raptor would like to sleep. She would sleep a lot. She would sleep all day long. Because she will probably definitely run around like crazy. She'll run around like crazy all night long. Raptors have special eyes that let them see in the dark. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding. I don't. No matter how late she stays up, my raptor would wake me up nice and early. She would let me know when she's hungry or not. If I had a raptor, I would have to teach her what's right and what's wrong. I might even have to trim her claws a little bit now and then. She would always forgive me though. Good girl. All raptors like to hunt. If I had a raptor, she would stalk the little things that catch her eye like birds or bugs or even dust bunnies. Sometimes she would stare at nothing at all, or at least I wouldn't even know what. And sometimes she might just stare at me. If I had a raptor, ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, there you are. It would be the best thing ever. The end. Great job, guys. You're such great listeners. All right. Can you guys get ready for a song? I think you are. Here we go. We're going to do our first song. It's called All the Fish. So we're going to swim like a fish. We're going to paddle like a duck. We're going to jump like a frog. We're going to roll in the mud like a pig. We're going to splash like kids, and then we're going to sleep like a hippo. You guys ready? Here we go. All the fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. All the fish are swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 up. All the ducks paddle in the water, paddle in the water, paddle in the water. All the ducks paddle in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. All the frogs are jumping in the water, jumping in the water, jumping in the water. All the frogs are jumping in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. All the pigs are muddy in the water, muddy in the water, muddy in the water. All the pigs are muddy in the water. All the kids are splashing in the water, splashing in the water, splashing in the water. All the kids are splashing in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. All right, we've got a little bit of a dance break. Make sure you dance with me. Take it down. Shh. Shh. 
hippos are napping in the water, napping in the water, napping in the water. All the hippos are napping in the water. All the fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. All the fish are swimming in the water. Great job, guys. Thanks for dancing with me. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Great job, guys. All right, we are going to see and meet some of my pets. What do you guys think? Sound like fun? I'm gonna do the rhyme first without my friends and then we'll have them come. You guys ready? Here we go. I have five pets that I'd like you to meet. They all live with me on Mulberry Street. This is my chicken, the smallest of all. He comes a running whenever I call. This is my duckling, he says quack, 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 and shakes the water right off of his back. This is my rabbit, he runs from his pen, but then I must put him back in again. This is my kitten, her coat's black and white. She likes to sleep on a pillow at night. This is my puppy who has lots of fun. He chases the others and makes them run. Great job. All right, you guys ready? Let's have my friends come and visit. Here, I'll help me count them. One, two, Three, four, and five. Great job. You guys ready? Let's do the rhyme together. You can have your own pets at home with your own fingers. Here we go. I have five pets that I'd like you to meet. They all live with me on Mulberry Street. The first is my chicken, the smallest of all. She always comes running whenever I call. Next is my duckling who goes quack, quack, quack while she shakes the water right off of her back. This is my rabbit. He runs from his pen and then I have to put him back in it again. This is my kitten. Her coat's black and white. She likes to sleep on a pillow at night. And this is my puppy. He has lots of fun. He chases the others and makes them run. Great job. Give yourselves a nice big hand. Awesome job. You guys look like you're ready for maybe a game. Hmm, I think so. We'll get rid of our peas. Move pets up and have our friends from the pet shop come say hello. Can you guys help me count them? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. All right, we're gonna go to the pet shop each time and you'll guess which pet that I'd like to get. You guys ready? Here we go. I went to the pet store, I made a special wish. The pet that I wanted was a very special, hmm, what rhymes with wish? Oh, fish, of course. I wanted some fish. Great job. You guys ready? Let's do it again. I went to the pet store, I went there at a jog. The pet that I wanted was wagging its tail. And of course, the pet that I wanted was, well, what rhymes with jog and wags its tail? Oh, of course, a dog. Great job, guys. I wanted a dog this time. All right, you guys ready? We're gonna go back to the pet store again. Here we go. I went to the pet store, it had become a habit. The pet I wanted this time was a really cute, well, what rhymes with habit? Hmm, snake? No, I don't think so. I think I wanted the 
Rabbit! That's exactly right! He's really cute too, don't you think? All right, two more trips. You guys ready? Here we go. I went to the pet store. This may sound absurd. The pet, what I wanted, was a colorful flying. What rhymes with absurd? Bird, of course. I wanted the colorful flying bird. Great job. I think there's one thing left. Let's find out what its rhyme is. I went to the pet store. There was no mistake. The pet that I really wanted was a hissing green. What animal is left? A snake. Great job, you guys. You guys are great rhymers. Thank you for playing the game with me. You guys look like you're ready for another song. Does that sound like fun? This time we're gonna do head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and there's some special things mixed in. All right, here we go. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and muscles, knees and muscles. Head and shoulders, knees and muscles, knees and muscles. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and muscles. Sing with us and you will see there's so many, so many, so many different parts you and me. Head and shoulders, knees and tummies, knees and tummies. Head and shoulders, knees and tummies, knees and tummies. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and tummies. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toenails. Reggie. <laughs> yourselves a nice big hand. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. let me hear your hands go. <laughs> Sounds so good. Sounds so fine. Let me hear it one more time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. let me hear your feet go. Sounds so good, sounds so fine. Let me hear it one more time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. let me hear your fingers go. Sounds so good, sounds so fine. Let me hear it one more time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. let me hear your tongues go. Sounds so good, sounds so fine. Let me hear it one more time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let me hear your mouths go. Shh, 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 shh. Sounds so good, sounds so fine. Let me hear it one more time. Shh, 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 shh. 
Great job, guys. I think you're ready for our second book. It's called Can I Be Your Dog? by Troy Cummings. Here we go. Dear people at a yellow house, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone and I also love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good boy? I am, sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but we cannot you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I can keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. The last time I had a dog in my shop, a dozen meatballs went menacing. Sorry, there's no way I'm taking a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. Dear Fire Station Number 5, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed every single one on Butternut Street, and yours is the shiniest. Arfie. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We'll keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Sincerely, station number five. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie. You're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much and I can bark if people try to steal your drunken stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Dear mutt, get lost. Dear last house on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely, Arfie. Oh no, return to sender, nobody at this address. Arroo! Do you think Arfie might be a little sad? I think so. What's this? Somebody wrote to Arfie. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. <gasps> How do you think Arfie feels? Will he come? There he is! Oh, they look happy together. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes! Truly yours, Arfie. Yes. Woof! Scritch scratch. The end. Great job, guys. You are such fantastic listeners. All right, can you guys point to a window? Can you point to a door? Can you point to the ceiling? Now, how about the floor? And you can have a seat right there. I think we're going to play one last game today. Let's see if we can find my star. We have some kitty cats with us today. What color is this one? Why, yellow, of course. And this next one is red. And of course, our next one is blue. And this one is green. And our last one is, it's a tricky one, purple. Great job, guys. You're so smart. 
All right, we're gonna figure out where our little friend star is. You guys ready? Little star, little star, where are you? Are you behind the, hmm, what color should we look for first? The green one, of course. All right, here we go. Which one's the green one again? Is it this one? Oh, no, 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 it's this one. All right, you guys ready? One, two, three. Oh no, our friend isn't there. All right, let's try again. Little star, little star, where are you? Are you behind the, what color should we look for next? I heard someone say blue. You guys ready? This is the blue one, right? No, silly me. This one is. You guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh no, it's not there. Oh my goodness, let's try again. Here we go. Little star, little star, where are you? Are you behind the red cat? Which one's red? This one, right? No, but red does make it purple along with blue. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh no, it's not there. All right, what color should we look for next? Purple, all right, here we go. Little star, little star, where are you? Are you behind this here purple cat? Let's count three and see. One, two, three. <gasps> you found it! Give yourselves a hand. Great job, guys. And what color cat do we have left? The yellow one, of course. You guys are so smart. All right, we have one last thing to do. Can you guys tickle the clouds? Can you tickle your toes? Can you turn around and tickle your nose? Can you reach down low and reach way up high? Story time's over, so we're gonna wave goodbye. Remember, of course, to read, write, talk, sing, and play every day. And I'll see you at the library. Bye.